You guys have no idea how long this has taken. At the end of the previous episode, I said that I wanted to get some fortifications up because every single time the mist rolls in, the infected are literally everywhere around here and it stops me doing anything that I want to get done. Now I can basically do that inside the confines of these walls. I am systematically checking these gates, by the way, at the same time as showing you guys around the entire perimeter of what I've got done. But taking on this task, it was huge. <laughs> I had no idea how much materials are everything i would need this is what i'm looking for okay so one of those guys have left this open i've systematically been checking every single time i'm either leaving or coming back to the base and it's either this one or the one over there that's left open oh it is you scott okay it's got you red-handed so i'm gonna have to keep my eye on that they don't necessarily shut those massive gates, which is going to be a problem if the mist is rolling. It kind of defeats the purpose of the wall. But this genuinely, guys, was such a huge task to do. I have done some other bits inside as well, which I will show you guys. But basically tried to make it straight all the way around. I've not made it too complicated. It serves a purpose. Aside from the fact of obviously keeping us safe from the infected and the mist, it's going to try and keep the bandits out too. At least I hope it does. Not to mention, in the previous episode, we decided to plant crops. So we could grow our own food look what's growing big thank you to everybody in the discord and everybody in the comment section of the videos who have basically let me know that you do have to harvest the tomatoes the corn flour and stuff everything that you get from growing stuff otherwise you don't get the seeds and you're not necessarily going to get seeds from everything it was a big help guys i know a lot of people have struggled with that when they first did this so i do massively appreciate that but we are growing our own food now. These things do need watching, which I'm going to get to. I'm just trying to show you guys everything around the base. We do have a walkway system. I did try and incorporate the water tower as well, just like a sniper spot. Or just to basically see from a higher viewpoint. But that's pretty much everything so far. That's you guys caught up. The one thing I will say is look at the days. We're on day 47 now. Like I said, this was a mammoth task to do. And I really didn't expect it to be this hard, but it really was. You got to realize something. Everything in mist takes time. So whether it be building something or finding something like materials, it's just, it takes so long and you've got a plan for it. And I really didn't think about that before I started it. But the good news is we're done now, so I can take a deep breath. But we've got a lot to get done today. And it looks like the sun is about to set. So welcome back to mist, guys. We are going to get some stuff done today. I do want to go down to the mine. I want to take a look at the quest that Scott let us do, which was basically make the copper wire, I think to repair the elevator, which I have been carrying this on me for a while to try and get it done. I've been using the bow and arrow as well. I'm getting it down. I'm getting good with the aiming because I'm trying not to use the ammunition that I've got for the weapons. Or I should say specifically the bullets. But yeah, we're getting there. I have made some changes, which you guys will see. I put a little bit of a water barrel outside for the crops. I don't think too much has changed though in terms of the actual base itself. There is one thing that I haven't shown you guys yet. And it's inside of here. I had a plan. While the walls weren't around, I think I made like this front section. And then after I made the front section, I realized just how long it took to do just that one side. I thought that it was just never going to get finished. Or at least it was going to take me a couple of weeks or something. In-game weeks as well. Like That's no exaggeration to get this thing done. Because these guys can really only help you scavenge things like wood or build things. I don't think you can put them to work on building stuff like the walls, which would have been super helpful. But this is what I did. Because I didn't think I would have the protection of the walls. I've put the chicken thing inside of here, which I hope it works. I don't think they need to be outside. But I thought it was a good idea because if I do have my own food and the bandits see that, or even if the infected see it, they're going to try and attack it. So if I can keep everything under lock and key, then we should be okay. I know this was supposed to be for the bug out vehicle, which has kind of made its home there. But it's going to serve a purpose again. Everything for purpose. That's the whole point. So obviously with the sun going down, then I think what I'm going to do is just make sure we've got everything because the first order of business is going back down into that creepy ass mine. And we're going to find out what Scott needs us to get done down there, which I think, like I say, is to fix the elevator. Hopefully it serves a purpose and we're not doing it for nothing. I've got a whole bunch more to get done. So I think I'm going to end this day and I'll be back with you guys once we're ready to go. Okay, so we're just making sure that I've got everything that we need before we head down there. I don't want to get caught out in the open. So we've got four liters of water. We've got plenty of food. I've got some canned food as well. That'll actually give me some hydration back. I think we're ready to go. I've got some extra arrows and stuff. Do I actually have any weapons? Okay, so I've got these. Do I have anything loaded into them? 30 rounds in the M4. How many rounds? Okay, nothing in the revolver. Do we have anything spare? I can't remember if I have been using some of them. 
because like I say, I've been trying to get some necessary materials and trying to get them has used some stuff over. So what we got, let's see if we can just reload this up. What's that going to give us? 13 rounds, all of that drying, all of that drying too. And I should have a hell of a lot of hide. Got all that in there. Okay, this one needs to go back on. What are we on? 81%. Like I say, I've been doing a hell of a lot of hunting, just making sure that I'm stocking up on stuff. And as you can see, we're looking pretty good. Okay, so the only thing that we need to do before we head out is I need to water the crops. And then I think we speak to Scott and head down to the mine. I'm just trying to work out which vehicle to take. I think I am going to take the pickup because that's got everything that I need. And we needed to take the copper wire with the fuse. I think that was everything. I can upgrade this stuff when I get back to. Like I say, I've got a lot that I want to try and get done today. I'm a little bit nervous about leaving this stuff. I have watered them. And I freaked out a second because I thought these things weren't growing as quick as the other corn stacks, but because these are tomato plants. It's actually really impressive once they're fully grown. I'll show you guys. I don't think it's going to be done by today. In fact, I'm positive. All right, let's open the gates. Then what time are we on? 6.54. Double check that we've got everything. Knife, bows, arrows, water, food. Yeah, we should be good. Leave a little bit of space in the inventory just in case we come across something that we want to take. That should be nice and smooth. There we go. And then... Pop out, make sure everything's closed, lock her up tight, and we're good. So if you guys are not quite sure where we're headed now, we're headed back to the mine with that huge berserker creature. And if we go deep into that mine system, I think that's where Scott needed us to reapply that copper to the elevator system. Like I say, I'm not sure if I need a lever or anything. I think I can find that down there. I hope I can. But even if this is for nothing, at least I will have eliminated it. I'm really hoping... That it goes either lower or we go to a different level that kind of gives us a little bit more secrets and hopefully someone's found out what's going on here because we still haven't found any information yet we don't know what the mist is let's make sure we arm ourselves with a bow and arrow i think i'm going to test something too just listening out for any infected last time i came around this section looking for sulfur and salt pizza they were everywhere here Can't really hear them because of the generator. Yeah, you can normally hear that shallow breathing. I think we're pretty clear. No salt peter though. I don't really want to mine all this stuff. I want to be carrying it back. That looks like there's a block of salt peter under there though. May take that. Switch that out. It's only going to take a second. I may as well mine it. I don't really know as well if you make a, a noise down in the mine system, if that attracts them. I'm always on edge about that. Let's grab all this stuff. It's going to come in real useful. Hopefully there's some more over there. This is as far as I go into this mine. I don't go any further just because of the big guy. But it may be worth testing today. Is that some more or is that... Let's just quickly check not a lot left in this actual pickaxe so i mean yeah i've got loads of zinc don't need any more of that all right so i wanted to test something seeing as though we're here i've got the revolver and i'm really not trying to piss this guy off but i need to know if we can chunk his health he's going to be a problem in fact i should probably get to the other side look how dark it is down there i thought we had some lights last time time to go Threw something at us. Wait, that was all it took off of him? Oh. Oh my god. Yep, I'm not messing with that. Okay, we're alright. Holy shit, let me just show you guys how much health that we took off of him. He's just gonna keep picking him up. Yeah, no, a revolver's just not going to cut it with this guy. Or even the M4 for that matter. I think we're going to need something a lot more powerful. Maybe grenades or something. There's the lever. I don't know. Oh, I can pick it up. Okay, nice. Let me just do one last sweep of this. Doesn't seem to be anything on. And I can... Yeah, I can turn that off from down here too. I wonder what the reason for that is. Actually turning that off there. Would you have to do that? The elevator's at the top. We've got to repair this thing. Let's turn the light off. Throw the fuse in. Repair this. It's going to take 15 minutes. No time at all. So we're going to reconnect the wires with the actual copper wire that we made. And then tie everything together with the duct tape. 
The power line has been repaired. All right, just because I don't know what's going to come down in this elevator, when I press this, we're going to stand back a little bit. I can't actually hear the thing coming down. Oh, no, yep, it's coming down. So it came from above. That's going to take us to where that berserker is, isn't it? Or it's going to take us... You know, I can't really remember where that other entrance was to the military spot that we found. I guess let's see then. What we got? Let's see, we got level one. Level zero. Yeah, that's going to... I'm paranoid now that this is going to take us to the section where the berserker is. Level one. Activate. All right, well, I guess we're going to find out. Don't know how old this thing is either. Where is this? Oh my god, that's the berserker, isn't it? Oh shit. Does it not go any higher? We don't have any more levels lower. It's just one and zero. Well, that's not what I expected. I actually thought that would take us to a different spot. This has kind of thrown stuff up in the air now because I was hoping that we'd go to another spot where we could get some more materials or, you know, more of this kind of stuff. Basically, what that is now is it's just a shortcut to get down there, but we've been fine doing that. I mean, like I say, even though it's not really led us anywhere, at least we know now. What is he doing? What are you doing, big guy? I tried putting a couple of bullets in him, but nothing was happening. So we're going to get back to the surface. At least we know now what that does. I was always wondering if it took us even lower into the mine system or maybe to a different spot, like higher up. I had an entrance like from a military entrance or something but i mean at least we know it's not a complete loss you know what every single time i go to that mine system i have to take that long ass route all the way around and i've never been able to do any recon on those guys that clipped us the first time so we're doing it now I'm going to see if there's a way around the back of them and just see what's going on. And if I can take one of those guys out, I think we should do it. A sniper rifle would be really nice at this point. Or anything with a scope. It's going to really help us out. See what we can do. I know for sure that they're active around that spot. So if we can go this way, which I don't think I've been around the side yet. Maybe we'll get a little bit of elevation be able to look down on them. And I think further that way is that, that oil plant or whatever it is. There's some more cars that we can break up. Some more cars over there, which are going to be really useful as well. Like I said to you guys, building the walls, finding the materials and stuff. Because I really didn't know where the best places were for residential areas, for breaking down vehicles or using basically anything. Did I just see something in that window? I don't know if that was the branch or if there was something in that window. I think it was this house. Because that's the house I was looting last time when they came in for a closer look. Yeah, we got a generator over there as well. There's no sign of anybody though. That's so weird. Maybe inside the house? I don't know. If I don't like a situation, I'm just going to back off. At least I've got close and personal to where these guys were hanging out. And I know what I'm dealing with now if I do want to come back. Let's do a little bit more recon this way. want to get eyes on that oil place or whatever the hell it was. What we got here? Some barrels of military vehicles. Anything we can use? It's in the back of these. No weapons. Nothing. Not a lot of stuff has been left behind. That's why you've got to make do with whatever you can find. I'm 
you got infected in there. Don't think my arrows are strong enough to go through that. There's one down. Wasn't pretty, but we got him. I think I can draw them out with sound, but... Oh, that was a headshot. Bait him out a little bit. There we go. That was a new sound. Let's grab these back. That should be all of them. Should have been pretty quiet too. Right, what do you got? Some salt, some duct tape, some more food. The salt is really useful because I can preserve meats with that, like dry them out. I can't tell you guys how many houses I've searched and there's just been nothing inside of them. You got to expect that though. A lot of people are just going to take what they need and get out of there. That's actually a really good find, especially seeing as I'm going to be getting close to those guys in a second. Nothing, nothing. Don't really need to worry about rags too much. Oh, there it is. See that red top? You follow that down, there's like a platform, and I think that's where the snipers are posted. What's he got in his hands? Oh. Wasn't pretty, but... I think we got him. That sounded like a single shot rifle too. I don't know. It could have been the M4, but I could have swore that I saw look, the side of it looks like it had brown on it. Maybe an AK or something. All right. Seeing as though his friends may have heard that shot. Let's just go loud. It's going to take my time getting around there though, because I mean, if I was reinforcing a place like this, I'd have a couple of guys on this, not just one. Oh, I just heard footsteps. Oh, looks like he did have a rifle. It's a hunting rifle. Yeah, we can't actually climb that either. I mean, good news though. We got ourselves the hunting rifle. As long as we can fix this up. We've got something now that we can use from range. That's actually a big win. I really didn't expect to be able to get through to these guys today. I, like I said, I thought there was going to be more of them. Took this guy out with a silent bow shot. That couldn't have gone any better. One, maybe two more in here. Really, really like to see if we can get some extra little bits before we head back. Sounds like there's one right here. To the left. No more breathing. Let's see what they had. Some glass. I still don't know what that's used for, but... I mean, we'll take it. Get my arrow back. Another door that I need to lockpick. Yeah, I really should keep one of them on me at all times. Either that or the, uh, the crowbar. Circuit boards too. I think I'm going to get into getting myself a generator as well now that I've got the walls up. Okay, that should be everything organized from where we were out looting. I'm just going to double check. Okay, so I placed the rifle in here. What is it that we needed? To actually repair stuff. Let's take a look. So, what do we got? Items. I'll make any of this stuff workshop. I do need to make one of these. In fact, let's do that right now. And then I'll go back and take a look at what I need to make or repair the actual weapons. Because I've got a fair few of them now. Crops are coming along nicely as well. 
I was thinking of putting like a, a blacksmith place either here or here. I'm probably thinking here. Let's go back to that. Let's see if we can get it to fit nice and snug. Just like against this, maybe. Like make the pillars fit into the actual structure of the building like that. Seems pretty good. So what do we need? 20 planks, 30 nails, 20 components and 20 rocks. That shouldn't be too hard to find. It's actually going to take four hours to make this thing. Should be getting pretty dark by the time it's finished. But this is going to go a long, long way. Because then I don't have to keep traveling from here all the way to the other blacksmith place. Because it is quite a journey every time. And having to go back and forward all the time. It's just going to be nice to have this say It actually fits really well being there too. Doesn't look out of place. I did leave a lot of space here on purpose so I could put some things in like this, which I've got a few more things that I want to put in, but that's worked out quite nicely for us. Okay, so let me just triple check that I'm not missing anything in here. Anything to do with the weapons. I can make everything that I need. Okay, nice. That's perfect. That's a really good addition for the base. So as soon as though it's night time, I wanted to try and get some stuff done with the chickens. Let me just see what I need for the repair bench. So I need two gears for that. I've got that. I've got the metal. I've got the components. I could make this. Workbench, level two, upgrade, 60 minutes. So what this should do now, we've upgraded it, is basically give us access to the weapons that we didn't have previous. So either we're able to... Oh, we can upgrade it again. Or is that level three? Oh, no, that's right. We were at level two, and now we're at level three. So like I was saying, what this should give us access to now is the weapons just like this so we can actually make them now eight components two scrap metal and the broken pistol wait do we just repair it then is that just to repair it and then hunting rifle what does that need one broken hunting rifle and 16 components i have that we've got it it was as easy as that. I actually thought with the broken stuff, you had to repair it in the repair bench. What does this look like? Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that zoom as well. Okay, can we actually... All right, this is probably better to see at daytime, isn't it? So let's get some sleep because it's now like half past 12. We'll get some sleep and we'll check it out in the morning. Okay, so a brand new day. It's pretty much 5.30 in the morning, day 49. So let's take a look the hunting rifle i really like the look of this thing look at the detail on that scope let's see what the zoom's like as well so let's say for example the mist does roll in and we get a crazy amount of infected outside look at what we can use now oh we have got a crazy amount of infected outside but look what we can use oh it's so nice to have this you know what i'm thinking if i can throw together some ammunition i may take a look at that bandit base over there because i've got a suspicion they have some good shit so Let's see what we need to actually make the ammunition with. We could have actually got this hunting rifle at a better time. What were you doing here? I really need to find Scott. He's just completely disappeared. Right, let's see. So, ammunition. And it takes... Okay, just one of each then. Okay, because I prepared a little bit in advance, I had well over 16 brass ingots. I've got this much to play around with. And I've got this gunpowder here as well, so... That should give us 16 rounds. Unless I've... Yeah, no, 16 rounds. So we can make that now. And then I can throw that into the hunting rifle. And I'm actually going to try and push this bandit camp. Let's see what it looks like when we reload it. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nice. Got one guy there who's armed with an M4. Another guy behind him. Okay, there's three of them. All armed with M4s. Alright, let's see how they react. Unchecking the front. Another one unfortunate enough to be in my crosshairs. Where's that other one? I want to stay behind cover because even though they might not know where I am, that M4 will light me up. I just waited for a second and I was going to try and bait a shot which would have been extremely stupid but 
It has been a hot minute since I was just behind that tree over there. I think that might be everyone. Switch the M4. No point in trying to stay quiet. Just took three of them out. Well, let's see what they got. Hopefully you guys had something worth coming over here for. I mean, all for nothing, that hunting rifle is a big, big upgrade. We needed it. I didn't really expect to get it so soon. I thought maybe further on down the line, if we could craft or throw something together, we could make it, but did not expect it to get it this quick. And now I really don't have to worry too much about ammunition because I can make everything I need with the upgrade of the workbench. Might be worth actually going to take a look if we can get that bear as well, because I'm, I'm always looking for food. So let me listen out for a second, see if I can hear anything. I think that was the fire. Oh, was it? Alright, let's open things up. Oh, it's clear. I don't think we need this, but may as well grab it. Crowbar, nice. Okay, this time I did bring it. It'll take five minutes. There's nobody be waiting. Okay, we're good. Nice, we got a helmet too, SWAT helmet. I'm actually going to apply that. I was using this helmet, which we found down in the mines, just as a little bit of protection. I wouldn't mind finding some ammunition though, if these guys did stockpile any of it. Or did I just pick up some painkillers? I mean, some medical supplies isn't that bad, what we got in here. Open this, five minutes. Come on, give me some ammunition. There we go, that's what we wanted. So watch this, revolver ammunition, pistol ammunition, and rifle ammunition, or hunting rifle. Can I actually pick that up? I can as well. Let me just place this away. Put you down. I'm always looking for little things like this. Extra storage, because you go through it so quick. Honestly, as well, I should have brought the car. I don't know if that would have made noise, though. I'm just thinking, we got some lockers here that I could really make use of. Some components, nails, some circuit board. And I can't get in this one without the crowbar. I think I'm just going to keep that on me from now on. It's definitely worth it. Give me something good. A shotgun, ready to go as well. Doesn't need repairing and some more ammunition. That's actually a really, really good find. Yeah, these guys have been grubbing out. I miss some beef, some tuna fish. It's like they've been here for quite a while. Okay, so home sweet home. I'm just going to leave that stuff over there because I'm going to organize it in the base later. But I was just thinking on my way back because before I left, I was thinking of locations where I can find chickens and I know where I can get them from. But I'm thinking right now, it's probably not worth it because the more chickens that I have, I'm going to have to get food for them. I'm going to have to focus on getting water for them as well. But if I just concentrate on growing these crops for now, I think we're golden. Oh, and they've grown some more as well. They've definitely grown since we've been gone. So this is working. Whatever we're doing here is working. And that's a lot of food as well to go around me, Scott, and Rachel. And if I get another one here, we're looking even better. So right now, the base is the best. I think we're going to get it. I, saw, I mean, like throwing these walls up, it was so worth it. I can't tell you guys the headache of trying to get the materials and the worry as well of going around trying to find the materials. But look at this. And now we've actually got a rifle. Anybody who comes in from any direction, especially if they're armed, trying to take our shit, that's a wrap. Like, they've got intent to use their weapons and take what we've got. It's game over. See if I can light these as well. I actually need something to light them. Okay, I need to put all the stuff inside of them. But once it goes nighttime and things, it's going to look really, really good. I think incorporating this too is going to be really, really helpful. Now, I do have a couple of options as well that we can do. We've got a base... Which I think is either over there, or it's up on this side of the hill somewhere. The problem is, last time we went over that side, I think there was two snipers in that base. So it's pretty risky doing that, but they could have some good stuff inside. And now we've got this rifle, we can keep a distance. The second option is returning back to the city, and while I was last there, I did say, if I had control of a city like that, I would absolutely be hoarding some stuff I'd want to keep away from other people's eyes. So, we've got options to play with now. I think that's what we're going to focus on next time. Now that I've built this place up, and everyone's looking pretty relaxed, 
We're doing a lot better now. So the investment of time and throwing this thing up was definitely worth it. So for now, guys, I think this is where we're going to end. Really successful day today. Absolutely getting this rifle is one of the best things we could have done because now we've got a lot more options. We've got some safety with the walls now, but we've still got a lot more and a long way to go in order to make sure we make it through this. We also need to find out what the hell is going on with this miss. So for now, I think we're going to end. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs>